take a work on the Wooly Lamb Award today. What do you think? Oh, that sounds like fun. Let's do that. I think so, too. I like lamb. Do you? Yes. All right. Well, there's a couple of things that we need to do today. So the first is we need to listen to a book about lambs. I like books. And then we need to learn something. We need to say some things we learned about lambs. And we're going to play a lamb game and make a lamb craft. That all sounds pretty fun, doesn't it? That does. It sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. So here is the book that I picked out. This is a book about sheep and lambs. And it talks about all sorts of things that you might want to know about them. Miss okay? Becky, I have a question. Yeah. What are two sheep called? A pair of sheep? Is that the plural? No. So one sheep is a sheep. What's two sheep? A sheep. One sheep plus two sheep equals sheep. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's a funny English word. That is so weird. Sure is. All right, are you ready to listen to the story? Yes! Okay, here we go. Sheep by Quinn M. Arnold and Quinn A. Arnold. Hello, sheep. Many sheep live on farms. Some farms have only a few sheep. Others have large flocks. A sheep's fleece is wool. It can be white, gray, black, or brown. It is cut every spring to help the sheep stay cool. Sheep have excellent hearing and eyesight. Their big ears turn towards sounds. Rectangular pupils help sheep see. Sheep graze in fields. They eat grasses and leafy plants. Some farmers feed sheep hay or grains. Lambs are baby sheep. First they drink milk, then they eat grasses and grains. Lambs run and play together. They climb on top of other sheep. Sheep eat and nap. Sheep dogs help keep the flock safe. Picture of a sheep. The wool, the tail, the leg, the hoof, the teeth, the ear, the eye, and the nose. Goodbye, sheep. Sheep! I found a sheep! Okay, that was a pretty fun story. What did you think? I liked it a lot. They're so cute and fluffy. I just want to pet them. Yeah. I think they are pretty cute and fluffy, and their wool is so, so soft. It is soft and warm. I have a wool sweater I wear at winter time when it's cold, and it keeps me very warm. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And wool mittens and mm. wool hats. Yeah, they keep... Sheep wool is very, very warm. It's I love it. super fuzzy, too. Fuzzy yes. and warm and cozy mm -hmm. and cold days. Okay, so in that book that we read, there was a sheep and it had a whole bunch of po body parts labeled. Do you remember that page? Yes. Yeah. So I've got a picture here and I want to see if we can remember what some of those parts are. Mm. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay, let's see. What do you think? There's one that's pointing at the top of the head. What do you think that one is? Um, that looks like ears. It is ears, yeah. yeah. Do you see any other ones you might know? Um, I think I see eyes. I see mm -hmm. eyes too. Yeah, it's got two eyes. That's yes. pretty lucky. All right, and I see Me a too. mouth. I have two eyes. You do have two eyes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a mouth. And a mouth. I have a mouth. Yeah, yeah. I you like do. my mouth. I use it a lot. Yeah, yes, yes, you do. All right, how about the white stuff on a sheep? Do you remember what that's called? Um, was it hair? It's not hair. No. Um, was it fur? Not fur. No. Um, wool, it was wool. It is wool, you're right. Yes, it's I wool. Now. Yeah, wool. And let's 
see. How about the thing that wiggles on a lamb when it's happy? The wiggly waggly part? Yeah, that part. What's that called? That's a tail. A tail. You're right. And I don't have one of those. You don't have one that wiggles. Nope, sure don't. All right. And then what about the things that, that sheep or lambs use to walk on? Legs. We have, I know that one. Yeah, they do have legs. But it's kind they of... They have four. It's equivalent to I our... I have two. Mm -hmm, it's equivalent to our feet. Not feet. So we have legs, they have legs. We have feet and they have something special. I have toes, and they do not. No they toes for the sheep. don't have toes. Um, let me see. It looks like, um, I don't remember. Louie! Louie, do you remember what's on the bottom of the legs? <gasps> he said they're hooves. Hooves, yeah, you're yes, right. Thank you, Louie. Yeah, good job, Louie. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to show you something kind of cool, okay? Yeah. So we labeled this lamb and all the parts on it. But a shepherd, something that takes care of sheep, they might have this Ooh. drawing, oh. and it has a lot more things that you have That's to know. That's a lot of parts. It is a lot of parts, and those parts are all important so that when shepherds are talking to a veterinarian or they're talking to other shepherds, everybody knows exactly which part they're talking about helps take good care of the sheep. I don't think I can remember all of those parts. You know what? If you had sheep and you had to talk to somebody about it, you would learn them all, and you would remember, I think. You mm. have a pretty good rememberer most of the time. I try. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's pretty cool, huh? Who knew there were so many parts to that's a That's a lot of parts. It is a lot of parts. Do you remember the story in the Bible of the lost sheep? Yes, I like that story. Well, I thought we could watch a little video on the lost sheep because oh, it's a good story. What do you think? That sounds like fun. All right, here we go. Stories of the Bible, the lost sheep. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ugh, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, uh, hmm. what will he do? Who stay here? Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, whoa! he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here. Celebrate with me because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. Okay, why do you think the sheep got lost? Um, because... Um, he wandered off. Yeah, I think so. Sometimes in the Bible, we're compared to sheep. Did you know that? The Bible says that we're like sheep. I don't have wool. You don't, but... Why am I considered a sheep? Sometimes we act like sheep. Sometimes we wander off too. <gasps> yeah. So sometimes we get distracted. And did you know that sheep... I did that once. You did? Yes. I was playing in the backyard with my brother, and we 
kind of wandered off into the woods because we were following a butterfly and do, 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 do. and next thing I know I turned around and the house was gone and I didn't know where we were and we were following a trail and we ended up in the next town over oh my and the goodness police had to bring us home it was so scary oh Katie I bet you were in big big trouble with your mom so much trouble but I bet she was glad you were home safe. She was very happy I was okay. Was she out looking for you when you she were lost? She was. Both my mom and dad were out in the woods looking for us and yelling for us. And they were so very happy when the police called and said they found us. I bet they were really scared too. I think so. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes we not only do we get lost physically, we wander away chasing butterflies, but sometimes... Mm -hmm. We wander away from God, and we forget what he's taught us to do. And God has to come and find us. And you know what? He's like your mom and dad. He's kind of worried about us, and he really wants to know why we wandered away. But yeah. he comes looking for us to find us wherever we are, and he brings us home. He brings us back again. Isn't that cool? I'm so glad he comes and finds us. Yeah. When we're lost. It's so lucky that we have a good shepherd that can bring us home and rescue us. Yes. Yeah. So, I think one of the things to remember if you get lost is to, to take a minute and pray. Yes, I did. When you're mm -hmm. physically lost. And sometimes, if you feel like you've lost your way um, spiritually or you're not sure what to do, if what you're going to do is right or wrong... You can pray about that too, so that maybe you don't get confused and lost quite so fast or quickly. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So there are two more, three more things we have to do. One of them is we need to talk about the things that we learned about lambs or sheep. Oh. What have you learned about sheep, do you think? Um... um hmm. Do you know what a dancing sheep is called? I don't know what a dancing sheep is called. A ballerina. <laughs> oh, Katie. I was thinking more like, what do we learn today about oh, sheep? Um, well, we learned about their ears, and they're good at hearing things. They and, are good at hearing um, things. And their eyeballs. Um, what was that? What was it about their eyeballs? I forgot. Yeah, they're rectangular. That's so strange. Yeah, the the black part looks like a rectangle instead of a circle like ours. Huh. Yeah, that was that was cool. Um, and um, uh, they come in different colors. They Did you do know come. that? I they didn't know that before. Yeah, they come in all sorts of different. I just well, thought they were like white. Colors. Yeah, there's white and yeah. black. And gray. And gray. Like my cat Smokey. Yeah, like mm -hmm. Smokey. And there's also brown sheep. Brown sheep. That's pretty cool. Yes. And then what about, what do we know about the stuff that's on sheep or on lambs? Do you remember? Um, do you know what that's called? Well, it was special, special um, stuff to keep them warm. Wool. It was wool. Right. And they make sweaters and mittens. And lots of warm things out of wool. We sure do make lots of warm things out of wool. And you know what? That wool is interesting because unless you shear it off or you cut it off, it just stays on the sheep. It doesn't fall out like hair does. And so if a shepherd doesn't shear a sheep, that sheep can get really, really heavy from all that wool. And if we think about a sheep getting lost, guess what? It can not only is it lost, but the longer it stays lost, the harder it is to get home because the harder it is for it to walk. Oh, I bet it gets so hot in the summertime without the shepherd to take off all that wool. So they really depend on the shepherd. They do depend on the shepherd Kind of like lot. we depend on Jesus to take care of us. You're right. Yeah. That's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. We are a lot like sheep, I, I think. I guess so. More than I thought. Mm-hmm. Even if we don't have wool. That's true. That's I true. I have hair. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. So there are two other things. One of them is to play a game about lambs. I like games. Yeah. So this one. Louie, come play a game with me. It'll be fun. What are we playing? 
So this one's a scavenger hunt. <gasps> oh, I love scavenger hunts. And your parents should have, and if they don't, they're going to get it real quick. But oh, they so. should have some little lamb uh, printouts that have some Bible verses on it that they're going to hide around the house for you to find. Oh, that sounds like fun. And Mom! Mom, did you get the lamb printouts? I want to play the game. She said she did. I'm so excited. Oh, good, good, mm -hmm. good, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what you're going to do is you'll find them and then... Either at the very end, you can read the verses together, or as you can find them, you can read the verses with your parents. Oh, that sounds like fun. I, I can't it, wait. I think it's going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to really like it. And then we get to make a lamb craft. I love crafts. I Yay. know. Yay for crafts. Do I get to use glue? You do get to use uh, glue. Yay, even better. Glue and cotton balls oh. and a paper plate and black construction paper. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, I think it's going to be really, really fun. So you're going to glue the cotton balls onto your paper plate to make a lamb body. And then you're going to add some black legs and a tail. And then there's a cutout, a printout that you can cut for the head so you can glue the head right on. Oh, that sounds like fun. I can't wait. Can I start now? Can I start now? Can I think I start you can. Now? Let's say bye to our friends. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. bye. bye.